Hi, I'm David. I'm from the Drop the Pad game channel and the Beard in the Semi podcast. This is my face. You might recognize it because it's, it's usually it's on the channels. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. I'm completely on my own. I don't like it. I spent the first five minutes just sort of staring right at the camera and there's a light behind the camera and it's blinding me and I don't like it. But anyway, um, today I am doing an unboxing video. I've never done one before. I've tried. I've gotten this shirt from uh, Infinity Crates actually. It's a very nice shirt. Unfortunately, if I do this, I look like I'm a 10 year old child who's grown out of his clothes. It's not good. It doesn't work. So, but before that actually, I went to Comic Con recently. Um, and I walked around for five hours on my own again, because I have so many friends. Um, and, well, I, I didn't know what to buy. And I, I stumbled across something called a boombox. And guys, if you ever see boombox, I don't know if I got unlucky or um, if it was just terrible, but I'm gonna go with it was just terrible because these are the things that I got with the boombox. I got this lovely toy. It's not a toy, it's a piggy bank. It's a Luke Skywalker piggy bank. If there was any character that I wouldn't want to save my money in, it's the one who lives on a farm and can't afford to do anything other than live on the farm. So, yeah, thanks for that. Also, it doesn't say Star Wars. It says Space Rebels. The fuck are Space Rebels? The Star Wars. Guess what else I got? I got these Spirit Hunter toys. Um, basically Ghostbusters. Can't really see it. Let me, let me take out the box for you. Look like a character? Does it look familiar? Let me let me zoom in on the on the shoulder here. It's just got a no sign on it. It doesn't have a ghost. Basically, what I think this company did was buy the likeness rights for certain characters and then not really pay for the names. So I've got some pretend toys. Cost me twenty five pounds. So guys, if you see Boombox, be wary. Not the greatest of stuff. Um, I also got included with it um, some air fresheners because I drive a car, as most people who buy all of these collectibles do. Every single one of us has a car, so air fresheners, perfect for us. Uh, other than that, Comic-Con was good. Um, it wasn't. I don't know why I'm lying to you guys. Never go Comic-Con alone. Especially if you're socially awkward like me. It's not fun. You, you don't know what to do. You sort of walk around by yourself. It's very boring. Don't do it. Believe me. It's the worst idea. I keep looking at the camera. I'm not meant to look at the camera. It's my first time guys. Be gentle. Is all I'm saying. Now, for the unboxing video. What I got was a special thing. I'm gonna draw it in closely for you. I got a loot crate, but it's not a, just a normal loot crate, it's a loot anime crate. Now, basically, um, what I liked about Infinity Crates was that you could sort of pick your own things. Um, not every company does something like that. Loot crate's great. I've never had one before, but I've seen the things people get. Um, but because this one's purely anime based, I do watch a lot of anime. So maybe it will be good. I hope it is. Um, I already have quite a few anime things from Infinity Crate, so we'll see what we get. All right, now for the unboxing. But guess what, guys? I don't have anything to open the box with. I contemplated to bring in a big knife, but I don't need to overcompensate. Just accuracy. All right. Let's open this up. Now, make 
sure. Oh, 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 it's very nicely packaged. Got a Blazing Phoenix on the front. Don't really know what anime that is. I actually forgot the theme. I think it's Unite. Um, let's see what I got. So first off, we got a Yokai Watch T-shirt. Now I haven't seen Yokai Watch. I know it's a new anime. Um, it's a nice T-shirt. It's nice and big. Kind of looks like a sports T-shirt. Not really a sporty person, so I'd like to convince others that I am. So that's nice. Put it on for you guys later. Oh my goody goody god! I have a Super Saiyan Goku, but I already have this. But this one's different, and I don't know why. This one's gold, mine's not gold. So, that's awesome. It's like a shinier one. It's a vinyl figure. I don't know what the difference is. I'll ask, I'll find out, I'll let you guys know. I got the Boy and the Beast Chico plush. I'm guessing Chico is someone from the Boy and the Beast. So, here we go, it's a nice little soft toy, okay, I got a doormat from Full Metal Alchemist, it's the alchemy symbol, great, don't really know how this is a doormat though, I don't know how many people have circular doormats so there we go put that there don't know what I'm going to use that for really personally it's it's cool looking don't get me wrong um, but not a hundred percent what I'm going to use the doormat for probably give it away what else I got I got two Thingies. Let's see what they are. They look like wings that you clip onto something. I have actually no idea what these are. Just zoom in there for you, or just bring it closer to the camera. Not a clue. If anyone can tell me what that is, I'd be much appreciative. It was Unite. I was correct. Oh, and it tells you what you get. Oh, exclusive Unity charm. Unity phone charm. As in, like, you give it to a friend? Ah, I get it. And then these are the mascots for the day. We've got Hime over here. And then we got a name that I can't say because it's backwards. Naming contest coming. Oh, so she doesn't have a name. It's just naming contest coming soon. They're about my height, which is weird. Hot dog with sriracha and karaoke is naming without contest ad. Wonder what we should name her. Put in the comments below, guys. Names for the blue chick. And... What else did you get? That was it. That was it. You get five items in this box. Cost me 25 quid. Now, I've seen another unboxing video where they sort of work out roughly how much the things will cost. I think that's quite a cool idea, but in all honesty, I know this is at least the tenner. Um, the t-shirt, again, at least 10 quid. It's a good quality t-shirt, it's branded, so at least 10 quid. Um, the doormat, bit of a unique item. I don't think you can find this pretty much anywhere. So, eh, I would say, I wouldn't spend too much on it, but probably 750 for it. Um, so, you know, it's, it's already sort of added up and then you've got your little Moshy, squishy thing. Not really much of a design on that, so I wouldn't pay more than sort of three quid for this. And the same for these. 
I mean, I don't really get phone charms, personally. Why would you block up your headphone slot with this? Who does that? Why? Who? Anywho, um, worth the money if you need a doormat. Um, I do like the the, vibe, the pop and the t-shirt, which is pretty much all I ever like, to be honest. Um, and now, guys, for a little sexy, sexy showing, I'm going to put this t-shirt on. Over this t-shirt, though. I mean, I don't want to make you see what's under here. No one wants to see that. Alrighty. It's a nice fit. Doesn't do that. That's nice. Yay! Um, that's it, I guess. A little underwhelming. Uh, we'll see what we get next time. Bye.